Hi, it's Claire from Better Meal Times. If you're a parent who's struggling to feed a fussy eater under five, then you're in the right place. Today I'm going to talk about something a bit different and tell you a bit about what I've been working on this week that you might find interesting. So one of the things I've been doing over the past few years is working with play groups in Edinburgh. So play groups here are entitled to small amounts of cooperative funding from Edinburgh Council if they do some kind of project or small piece of work together in collaboration and I have made use of this by running several training workshops where practitioners from two or three play groups come together with funding from the council and the aim of the workshops is to support children to enjoy a variety of food in the playgroup environment and the playgroups are expected to make changes to their day-to-day -day practices because of what they've learned in the training. And along with the workshops, staff get a training and resource pack. So it's November 2020 now and I am not able to carry out workshops face-to-face -face for obvious reasons. I've been trying to get a date with a group of three playgroups but we are just not able to put anything in the diary just now, it's moved from May to August and then from August to October and now we've decided just to postpone it indefinitely. So this week I have been working on producing the training and resource packs for those play groups so that at least they've got the information and they can go through the contents themselves and they can make a start on um, some of the suggestions and use some of the information. So the first time that I wrote everything down that I'd learned by running the activity sessions with children that I did for several years was to create the content of these packs and I thought it might be interesting to show you what it looks like today. So the packs were initially created for nurseries but they're equally relevant to playgroups or childminders. Basically anyone who looks after a group of children um, age between one and five. And this is what it looks like. A4 file. It's got some resources in it as well but the actual content is in three sections. The first section is guidance and that is where I explain in detail, um, that's the bit I explain in detail in the face-to-face -face workshops and I use it in parent consultations as well. So it's the um, understanding children's behaviours with new foods, what to say differently to support them to enjoy a variety of food um, instead of just what we see in society day to day. The second section is group experiences. So the content there is for a series of structured activity sessions and that's based on those that I did in nurseries myself. So I know that they're effective, I've seen that they're effective, I've got feed feedback from parents and from nurseries that they are and that they're great fun for the kids as well. And the final section is parent partnership which has documents that the um, playgroups or nurseries can share with parents. It's got copies of the activities so that parents can repeat these at home. And it's got uh, surveys so that staff can find out what parents have thought about the whole thing as a project. There are also resources, including a USB stick. And this has got copies of documents that are in the file that might be printed repeatedly. But the most important bit on the USB stick is that there is video guidance for each of the activities, each of those group experiences, so that practitioners can see exactly how to do those and not have to do them based on a written script. Um, if your child attends a nursery, playgroup or goes to a childminder in the UK, then this pack is available. They can buy it for £50 and it could really transform the way that they interact with children around food. Um, I would love to run more workshops with practitioners as well but that just isn't happening just now. Um, but yeah, it'd be great if any of you could get the word out. I'd be really grateful if you could share this with anyone you know that works in childcare. If you work in childcare yourself, please get in touch. And um, yeah, anyone that works in childcare that's interested in encouraging children to eat well and looking for resources. So I look forward to helping you all towards better meal times and thanks for watching. Take care.